Now leaders from the mass speaking counties have vowed to bury the hatchet and to unite for the good of their community. During an elaborate religious camp political event, the leaders say that despite their political affiliations, they will rally together to protect their community interests, including land right matters and speak against the invasion of the Mao forest, among others. It was an elaborate event at the Narok Stadium that brought together religious and political leaders from the mass speaking regions. First, the religious leaders led by Anglican Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt led a spiritual session. The worship session full of symbolism. To demonstrate a barring of their differences, political or otherwise, the Archbishop led the leaders to the symbolic burning of sand before a white cross to signal an end in the differences among the Ma leaders. In a show of humility, just like Jesus washed his disciples' feet in the Bible, Sapit led the exercise alongside other clergy with the emphasis on the day's theme of forgiveness and tolerance. The political leaders vowing to unity of purpose that will transcend their political affiliations to protect and uplift their community's interest from exploitation. Tuko na issues ambaye inaenda beyond political parties ama political interests. We will speak in one voice. Irrespective of the consequences. Irrespective of political party affiliations. Irrespective of clan. With the Ma community fighting over land injustices for decades, the leaders promised to be steadfast to defend their land rights. Mambo ya dry port tunaunga na tuko kama naro, sisi ni stakeholders na tuta demand kama kuna makasi elifu shirini na moja, at least 7,000 lazima wawe youth kutoka naro ambayo atajiriwa huko. Since the passing on of William Olentimama, the community's most senior and influential figure that fought vicious fights to protect Ma land rights, the community has been split with its leaders, always at odds, given their political affiliations. This undermining a common goal of advancing the community's interests. But now the church acting as the glue to bring the community's leaders together in an attempt to consolidate and solidify the pastoralist group once again. Why should it be a peculiar thing when the Maha nation decides to come together, when its leaders decide to come together for prayers, for repentance, reconciliation, and unity. Missing appointment and a community leader to articulate their issues on the country's negotiating table, the move may be construed as another stab at trying to identify the region's kingpin. Samogina Serzen TV, Nairobi.